We're talking about the gift of prophecy, which is indeed a wonderful gift. Rather, uh, it's a gift of the Holy Spirit. And we see that Paul writes to the Corinthian church and uh, he's listing all these gifts. And um, before that, he prefaces that by saying that, uh, brethren, I don't want you to be ignorant. So uh, it's today, uh, God is you know, reaching out and he's telling us he doesn't want us to be ignorant of any one of those gifts. Uh, we need to know these gifts. We need to not just know, but also experientially walk in them. So we're talking about the gift of prophecy and also the prophetic word. What does the prophetic word bring? Or what does the prophetic word do? Uh, the prophetic word brings a revelation of God's plans and purposes. Every child of God has the privilege of being led by the Spirit of God. Every child of God, if you are a believer, you have the privilege of being led by the Spirit of God who indwells us. We have the privilege of hearing His voice. And we know that God has um, a general plan and purpose, and but also He has a unique and specific plan and purpose for each one of us. And uh, again, God chooses to reveal His plan and purposes to us, um, His children. And He chooses to do that through a, a word of prophecy. So there could be a, a, an inner witness in our heart or, or it, he could, uh, you know, they, he could send someone uh, with a prophetic word uh, and reveal that purpose for us, our life's purpose for us. But he, it is a confirmation of what he already reveals to us. So we see that the prophetic word uh, brings about a revelation of God's plans, of God's purposes. Here in uh, Luke chapter one, where. Zacharias is filled with the Holy Spirit and he prophesies over his son John and he says, you know, you child will be called the prophet of the highest and you will go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people and so on. So he's actually revealing the plans and purposes that God has for John. Uh, John has been called as a forerunner and to go and prepare the people and he goes before the Lord to prepare the people for, for the Savior. So we see here Zechariah is filled with the Spirit and he's prophesying over John. So um, the plans and purposes that God has for us is revealed uh, through that prophetic word. The prophetic word comes and it stirs up, does something to us and it causes a release of faith. Uh, like we see in Elijah, he meets the widow at, in Zarephath um, and she was all set to eat her last meal and for herself and her son and there was famine and they just wanted to end their life. And it was at that stage that uh, Elijah comes and he speaks the word of the Lord and it stirs up faith. It causes faith to rise up. So the woman goes away and she does according to the word of Elijah and um, she and her household, they, they enjoyed the provision. They enjoyed the supernatural provisions that God provided for many days. The prophetic word, it's not just a mere word, it's the word of God, word which comes from the heart of God. So it causes something in us. It stirs up faith in us and releases faith in us so that we are able to uh, uh, before the prophetic word, we might be discouraged, we might be without faith, but then here comes the word, we receive it, and we move on in the purposes of God. So let's pray and, uh, and ask God to give us a, a word of knowledge and uh, uh, a prophetic word, maybe receive it directly from his heart, which causes and releases a faith, and may he f uh, maybe receive the word, which, uh, which also reveals the plans and purposes that he has for, our, for us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word which releases plans and purposes. Things that we do not know about God, things we do not understand, it's too wonderful for us. But Lord, uh, in your plan and in your purpose, God, you have purpose that we would, uh, we would walk in it, oh God, that we would discover the, the, these things, the good works that you prepared, that we would walk in it. And Father, we thank you that your word stirs us up and causes a release of faith. And I pray and we, we receive your word, Father God. Everything that is hindering, let it be removed out of the way. May we receive your word and may we act according to your word. May we live according to your word. We thank you for who you are and what you do to each one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.